Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you Cygwin and it's a uh, it's a bash like terminal that uh, runs in Windows. This is Windows 7 64-bit uh, edition. Okay. Um, I'll just do a uname real quick so you can see that. Cygwin I-686 at the date and everything. Um, your root directory on here is actually in C Cygwin Cygwin drives um, which you know there's not a whole lot there. Uh, it does have Vim you so you do have a a text editor. Uh, as far as running shell scripts, I'm not real sure. I could do a quick test and find out. Uh, in Vim, you hit I for insert. Um, And I've already made a mistake. Uh, we'll hit Q for quit. All right. Okay. We'll file name. In Vim, if you don't have the file created, you have to create it as it opens, like that. So, we'll hit I for insert, pound, exclamation mark, root, bin, bash, Let's have it execute. I have. Uh, it's not gonna work. And it's not letting me delete it. There we go. In Windows, it's IP config. Keyboards are being screwy. Okay. We will do Oh. Well there you go, you can run a shell script in Windows through Cygwin. That's IP config and it was executed through a shell script. Um, I mean, now that you know this, any I'm not sure if you were to down a shell, download a shell script made in Linux if it would execute it, but I'll have to give that a go in another video. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.